Hello guys and gals. All right, let's try this again. My software just crashed. So thankfully I was only like a minute and a half into this. So <laughs> not like, you know, an hour and it crashes. Um, so hey, it's Jen. I am just chilling here on Sunday night. It was a really nice day out today. We actually kind of opened the windows for a little bit. So the cats really appreciated that. That was awesome. Um, and I got some good news on Friday. Uh, my camera holder my new camera holder will be in amazon saying friday so that's awesome they originally said may 15th but then i got an email on friday saying it should be in this friday so that's awesome um so then i'll be able to show you guys what space i have actually been working in and i'll be able to do overhead videos so i'll have much more space to work in um i've been trying to come up with things you know small things that i can keep in this little tiny space um yeah so it'll be nice to have a ginormous space to work in i like to spread out when i craft so all right so what i'm gonna do tonight is show you um these are the first journals i have ever 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 made um they're nothing fancy they're not like you know ooh binding and you know all whatever what they are is they're actually just scrap drawer journals i think it was jenny belly i got the idea from um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's who it was. So all you do is you just go through your scrap drawer, pick out some paper, slap it together. It doesn't even have to be like, see, this one had like pencil mark on it. Some of them like not even cut straight. It's just scrap. You don't even bother. Like you don't have to square it up or anything. You just fold pages in half, one signature. I sewed it together. Now I did do something horrible. My stitches are way too small. So um, I did learn, that's why this one ended up kind of becoming mine that I'm keeping. Um, yeah, so it kind of like perforated it. So it will come off really easy. Uh, so yeah, make your stitches big if you're sewing them. Or I had done the, you can bind like just poke two holes and feed a uh, string through and tie it. But I just preferred the sewing, the look of the sewing. So um, yeah. So I made a bunch of those and uh, what I intend to do with them, here I'll show you. What I intend to do with them is when I do online swaps, like bigger swaps, I'm just going to kind of toss them in the packages because really they're just made with my scraps, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you those and yeah, maybe I'll do a little bit of work in them tonight. We'll see how the time goes. But yeah, so I'll show you this one. This one is mine. I have got everything on this. Punch outs, uh, ephemera, cut from magazines, rub ons, washi tape. This sums up my sense of humor really good right there. So all this is, is they're just little scrappy junk journals. So I just put things in here. There's no rhyme or reason to anything. There's no theme with the pages. They're all like different themes. Um, nothing necessarily goes together, <laughs> but it kind of works because, I mean, it's a junk journal. So, I mean, I got some Jane Davenport um, images in here, sticker, little image someone sent me, playing card, it's Powerpuff Girl stickers. There's a sticker, awesome. I got Gaga in there. I love me some Lady Gaga. This, just because it's pretty colors, you know, just things that I think are cute. This was off of some packaging. I think it was soap I had. Different little stickers and images. I'm still not completely done this one. I can still fill it a little bit more. Um, I did the back with some shimmery gelatos. Yeah, and I've got washi tape in there uh, to reinforce the pages since they're pretty well perforated. Yeah, so all kinds of just little bits and bobs that you'd put in a junk journal, but I mean, they're just mini. And, uh, oh, this is a lip balm. Eclair Lips, E-C-L-A-I-R. Check them out. They are made locally, um, but I'm pretty sure she sold, she sells them pretty well throughout North America. She sells them in stores and things. Um, definitely the best lip balm ever. And her flavors, the coffee flavors are so good. She makes a caramel macchiato and they're so, so delicious. Um, little paint chip, little budgie bird. This one wasn't bound in. This is what's called a tip in. So all you do is you just take one page and just tape it to the page before it and the page after it. So it's not bound into the book. It's just kind of stuck in there. Um, this is my big nerdy side because I used to play uh, World of Warcraft uh, before Blizzard, you know, 
don't get me started on that. The whole All Hail Mother China thing. They're like a horrible company. So I stopped playing, which is good because now I spend all of my time creating when I could be, you know, I'd spend all of quarantine playing. But yeah, I spent a year trying to get this Phoenix mount and I finally got it so that I saved that picture. I thought that was great. It's not my picture. It came out of a magazine, but yeah, I was really excited about it. A little tag, just a little cute cute bit I liked. I love the watercoloriness of this pineapple. Jellyfish. I'm terrified of jellyfish, but I also love them because they're beautiful. Playing card. Just little bits and pieces. Washi tape. And like the background, like this was like a page from like a theater program or something. Not a fabric. Different things. Scrapbooking paper, washi tape, stickers. I thought this image was really neat. Just see, no rhyme or reason to anything. Like, it's nothing themed or anything. Well, I say that, but there are a couple pages that are kind of sort of themed. But yeah, you'll see. And I'm not completely done. So yeah, I still got some space in there I can add. It's just things that I think are neat. Like, you know, these little glittery cloud stickers. This is really cool. What this is. This was a tag. I put the snail on there afterwards. Isn't that a cute image? I have no idea where I got that. It was out of a magazine, I believe, or maybe a kid's book. That is so adorable. But yeah, the little shoal tag. That's another tip in that I put in there. Look how iridescent it is. Can we see? Oh, there we go. That was a good shine. All right. So what this is, was last year, my husband went to Boston for work. And they were paying for his hotel. They were paying for his, um, his airline ticket. So... I went along too to have a vacation. All I had to do was pay for my food and pay for my plane ticket. So I went and while he was at work every day, I got to go do cool things. So this was at the Harvard Museum. I went to the Harvard Museum and there's another one right beside it. They're connected. I think it's Peabody Museum. Anyway, they're both very cool. So this one I got from the Harvard Museum gift shop and it's an Okapee, Okapee pin. And Okapees are like the cutest thing ever. And I love Okapees. They are like definitely adorable. So yeah, I was really surprised because like there's such a, you don't see them anywhere, but they had a little enamel pin of an okapi and I was so excited. So yeah, that's my little tip in and then I put a little picture of the okapi there. Okay, yeah, see this one's a little bit themed. Sun, moon, stars. This is a post-it. I got some really cool moon post-its and then like, you know, a few little images, some washi that goes with kind of thing. Little metallic elements. Just some cool, cool pictures I like. I didn't confirm, but I think this is Franz Mark. Some of his early works. He's one of my very favorite artists. And uh, yeah, I think that might be his. And it's really cool because, okay, on Bojack Horseman TV show, he has a Franz, a Franz Mark print in his living room. It is so hilarious. And it's a legit one. It's really cool. And then this was a greeting card, another tip in. So for swaps and stuff, like people will send me like, say you do an artist trading card swap. Usually someone, usually people will send them in a note card, right? So that's from a note card. And then that's a little thing I cut off an envelope someone sent me. And then the back, I just did some, this is, um, he was a little, uh, he's like a mannequin echo, like the, the Japanese cat of good fortune, the little waving cats. So he was from a sticker pack, so I stuck him there. Um, put some gelatos around, so they're all watercolory and fun. And little stickers. Look at this burb. He is so funny. I got him from Etsy. I don't remember the seller's name, but he's uh, he looks really strung out. He's hilarious. Uh, another little sticker I got from somewhere. I don't know. Um, oh, that's some deco tape. That's deco tape donut deco tape and I got little okay this is kind of like almost like a picnic theme because this paper kind of inspired me so I've got like a little cute picture a little look at the little cat a little cat this doesn't really go though this is out of date body parts so like talking about the appendix and ear muscles and things like that so that doesn't really go with my little diner theme but yeah and then I got this little uh Yoda sticker somebody sent me and I put little glasses on them because, uh, you know, why not? Um, I had put, uh, I cut out 
my address when I do swaps, when I receive swaps, I'll cut out my address if I like the way it's written. And uh, I've got a couple stuck in here, but since then I've started a separate journal for just my addresses when I do swaps. So that's kind of cool. Then this page is just some random things, little um, Sakura stickers, all kinds of cute little things. And they're just images that just, you know, struck me that I liked. Some stamps, little bits and pieces. This was, um, it was a Kickstarter. My husband got me a sugar skull sugar spoon. And it's a sugar spoon, but it's cut. There's a skull cut out of it. And it's really cool, really neat. Um, this little sticker, or I think it was off of packaging actually. Isn't that adorable? And it went so well with this. And I loved this. I love this color, the colors of that. So I wanted to save that. Little bumblebee, I love me some bees. Alice in Wonderland. Some vintage lamps, a cute little Martha Stewart sticker. Martha Stewart makes the cutest little most elegant things. This lacy looking Valentine sticker. Uh, this is a heart embellishment I made. All it is is heart punchies. I did some like paper, um, Paper streamers, crepe paper streamers, and just some stickers, word stickers, a little bling. Um, I think I'm going to do a tutorial on those too. I mean, it goes along with my making embellishments for, uh, for journaling. More little bits and pieces. This was a piece of artwork. Someone sent me a picture and it's really, really cute. This is packaging from a soap. And I am not sticking anything else to that because it's so adorable on its own. And it's even got some, I can't really see it, embossed parts. Well, I guess you can see it in the back. Yeah, some embossed parts. So it's adorable. Keep that just like that. Uh, this is Starbucks. They put out, every time they put out like special edition, special edition coffees, I think it's like a few times a year or whatever, they'll put out these little cards and they'll explain what each coffee is. Like, you know, it's flavors and where it's from and all that. So I put that there and this is a twinchy two by two inch piece of artwork somebody sent me. Little metallic, I would say gel pens probably, really cute. Put that in there. And my little cute uh, coffee cup metallic sticker. And this is out of a vintage uh, antiques pricing book. They're lady head vases, which apparently were a huge, huge thing. So yeah, that's really cute. A little crown, hibiscus, Italy. I don't know quite where in Italy, but on this page, little sandpipers. I like me some sandpipers, they're cute. And this one's kind of themed too. I kind of went with yellows, yellows and bees, even though, yeah, there's a, um, Day of the Dead Skull there. Sugar Skull. There we go. Some different images. Little bits and pieces of like punched lace. Blythe doll. Butterfly. Artemis is weirded out. He's wondering if I'm talking to him. Little kitties. Look at this little kitty button. That's like a real wood button. Isn't that cute? So yeah, the chunks it up a little bit, but you know, whatever. And I got this from like a pair of like socks from Japan, little cute heart, more washi, washi washi image someone sent me on an envelope. That's why it's covered in packing tape. I love yarn, hand spun yarn. Love it, love it, love it. Another address, our little kitties. Roller skates, because once upon a time I tried roller derby. I was not great at it at all. <laughs> so little handmade flower, little bit out of an art book. Washi. Someone sent me this image. I think it was a sticker. Isn't that cute? It's like vintagey kitty um, embroidery. Very cute. Oh, this is a sticker that my friend Danica drew. Um, she did a whole series of these um, little like Japanese spirits and so that's the information on that one monster cat so I thought that was really cute I have a calico Luna's my calico so yeah I put that there it's on the back of a card some gelatos the geese I don't know why geese but 
I thought those were really cute. So there's the card. This is another World of Warcraft thing. That's a Murloc. Because I'm a big nerd. This is kind of a unicorn, loosely unicorn theme page. few little things. I love this bug. The bug is really cool. Yeah, little bits and pieces, stickers and pieces cut out of magazines. Stickers, wow. There, so that one's mine. So I'm going to show you the ones that I've made to send out. Um, what I tried to do was do a little something on each page. I try to kind of do the cover and then do, yeah, a little something on each page. So this I did gelatos and you got your little ampersand um, sticker. Just a little bit there. Nice little vintage lady. Stamping. This is stamps with a piece of envelope. Just scraps of like cool paper. Label. So I like to, yeah, add some, you know, variety. Whoops. Add some variety to it and some interest. But I'd like to, I like to leave a lot. Like, see, yeah, like you even leave that. It's just scrap. I like to leave a lot of space so then the recipient can do whatever they want with it. You know, they can do journaling. I've tried to put like in each one, I try to put a couple little journaling specific spaces, but I mean, they can glue images over them if they're not interested in journaling. Like you see, I didn't journal in mine. I'm way more about images um, than actual journaling. I don't know if it's because my handwriting's horrible or what, but yeah, not so much about the actual journaling. I love, love, love pictures of yarn too. Little tags, bits and pieces, little ephemera, bits and pieces of scrapbook paper, wrapping paper, little bits, rubber stamped, rub-ons, more rub-ons. Yeah, so I just try to add just a little bit here and there. Like, as you can see, like I said, there's no theme for any of these books. But hopefully, you know, the recipients still have fun with them. You can just kind of, you know, it's the point of a junk journal, right? Like you just, you just stick things in that you think are cool. Little embossed snowflake. That was already on the paper that was in the scrap bin like that. Yeah, little bits. There, so yeah, I went through and I, this one, I'm... I have a flower image that I want to put there and I kind of lost it, but I'll find it. Some little bits. Like this was in the scrap drawer, I think, because it didn't uh, stamp correctly, but I mean, it's still fine. Little bits and pieces, little fun sticker. Rub-ons, little vintagey fairy girl. And gelatos and postage stamps. I love the pages, like circle cut corners, round cut corners. I think they're cute. More stamping. All kinds of just neat little odd things. Like this was from like a vintage kids book from like the 70s. This was from the 50s. That one might not be real though. I don't think that was really from the 50s. I think that's a reproduction because it's shiny. But I do have a bunch of, yeah, like different like 1950s like reader images and things. Yay, some stamping. This kind of, I went with kind of a mermaid-ish theme. Gelatos. Stamping. Bits and pieces. I did quite a bit of the aging around the pages. I thought those were really cute. Look at those. Adorable. Yeah, like this came out of my scrap drawer. Punched. But I did that. See what I did there? Oh, oh. And this was like a thing... From postage stamps and it's just like a metallic -y blue sticker now um somebody could you know write some little things in there or do some journaling inside or cover it up whatever more gelatos this is metallic gelatos those are really pretty 
some lace punched edge for the pages, some rub-ons, yeah, and just little, little bits. So that's two. This one I really like. I like the background, the uh, watercolory background. It goes nice with this. I like the vintage rose and then like your little tissue paper circle. And some gelatos. I love me gelatos, definitely. Yeah, and just some little stickers. And oh, that came right off. Look at that. I'm going to put that right back on there. I've gotten so that I don't really trust stickers anymore. <laughs> Some of them are kind of, yeah, like they don't stick. It's like, what are you doing? There, vintage granny square. That's so adorable. It goes really well with this paper. Yeah, stickers. No, I don't really put anything on that page, did I? Here, let me see. I might as well do that while we're here. Oh, I am definitely going to use one of my Four Bears Sticker Club here. Oh, we're going to use that little pug. The little fun pug. There. Put him there. And stickers. Yeah, I might need to glue those down too. Rub-ons. Watercolory gelatos. book pages and just like cool little patterns and things stuff out of the scrap drawer little tag how happy is that owl right he is so happy <laughs> postage stamps well those are just fake stickers but stamp stamps little part where you can journal stickers like some of it's modern, some of it's vintage, some of it's cute to cute. There is no rhyme, no reason to these junk journals anyway. I mean, that's the point of a junk journal. Oh, that one's missing something too. That one has nothing on it. I am going to put these books maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have cacti. How cool is that? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Did I totally just rip that? I did too. Okay. There we go. It's a little more see-through than I thought it was, but you know, whatever. We'll put a second one on there. Hang on. Like a little little plant. There. So yeah, that was like I don't know, part of a menu or something, or a map. Yeah, sticker stamps, rub-ons, ginormous sticker. All kinds of little bits. This one, just a cool image from a magazine, very artsy. Stickers. missing something there I'm glad I went through all of these because you know that way I can here we'll use this <clears throat> that way I can see what I've missed and stick some uh, stick some things in there read more books Cute. So see, it still leaves most of the page. You know, the recipient can do whatever they want. Bits and pieces. I tried to keep them mostly flat. Like those are puffy stickers, but for the most part, I tried to keep them pretty flat. That's got something. That's got nothing as well. Let me see. This I might have to. I may have to glue that down because that is sparkly paper. Yeah. 
glittery scrapbooking paper is, yeah, it stickers will not stick to it. So put some glue. Put some glue. There. There, she's pretty. Event record. Little bits and pieces. Little stamp. That one's got nothing on it. But let's see, there's an octopus. I wonder if I have something that would go with the octopus. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Not really, but I mean, these are really kind of cute. I might need to do, because they're gold. Like, super gold metallic why can't I get that <laughs> you know how metallic stickers usually aren't very metallic but this is definitely metallic they're very very cute I will put I will do a couple pencils pencil Pencil. There. Just a couple little gold pencils. Why not? So yeah, see like this is like kind of crooked and the edges are torn. Stickers. Oh, well. There. Different little stickers. Seems to be quite a bit of cutesy cute in that one. Let's do something a little different, maybe. Do some galaxy sticker. Oh. That one sticks good. There. Galaxy sticker. This is like a little thing from like some game. It came with these little pigs. Postage stamps. Another one. Yeah, I'm really happy with these four bears sticker club stickers. They're really stinking cute. There. There. All right, how are we doing? We're at almost half an hour. Okay probably be about 45 minutes. Okay, you stay there. <laughs> this one, I wanted to put a sea turtle there, but I couldn't find an image of one. So yeah, it didn't happen. Um, scrapbooking bits and bobs. Tea tag. Bun bun. Different little bits. Anything. Oh, I'm going to put a tag in there. I think I'll add a tag, one tag at least, to each journal. That one, there is nothing. Let us see. Oh, I like this. These are really cute. These are the childproof stickers, obviously. There we go. <laughs> Stick that right in there. There. So yeah, just a little something to each page. Or a big something, like that is really cool. Gelatos. there I did some like smattering of like ink or watercolor or whatever it was oh heart attack that's just like horrible I'm gonna cover that up <laughs> I didn't really you know I guess I didn't uh, didn't really look oh wait 
we'll do a book. There. Book page, little donut. There. Oh, I knew I'd miss some of them, but. Little, like Instagram looking camera. There. Little tulip. Oh. Okay, that one's missing something. A special day. There. A sweet life. Those are really pretty stickers. That one's got nothing. How did I not get all these? For some reason I thought I was pretty well done these, but obviously not. My little fits. A little thing from socks. Isn't that cute? Oh Lord, even more. All right, little sloth, what are we doing? Oh, I'll do the little grocery shopping sloth. There. All right, I have three more. This one I love the cover of. It's like a vintage-y like, lamp, a little girl lamp and light post. There, roller skate. Oh, that tape isn't, there we go. Do, 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 do. Just random, random bits and pieces. A little card, playing card, some Lisa Frank. Some random artwork, stickers, label. Oh, some painted paper scraps. Oh, this is a little tiny. A little burb, a little. Oh, that washi. I'm going to need to go through and glue the washi down. That's really annoying how, like, you spend all this money for washi tape and half of them don't even stay stuck. Super annoying. Like, and I don't know. It must be certain brands that are good that will stay stuck. That sounds like a tongue twister. Seriously. But I do not know which brands. If you can recommend some good brands. Because, I mean, yeah, you spend all this money on washi tape. And then if it doesn't, uh, doesn't stay put, it's kind of defeats the purpose of it, right? A little metallic. Rub on. This one I thought was really cute. The tag really goes well with these three. I don't know if they were stickers or if I cut them out of a magazine. I do not remember. Bits and pieces, abstract pieces. These are some stickers I made. Out of like old printer label stickers or whatever they were. Oh, there's another little pocket. And a like a little cute vintage handwritten note. There goes the please. Something going on, definitely. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. He flew past my house. A little cutesy girl. Sticker, yeah, see, like, this is just a little ripped bit, but it's still, like, cute paper, so. This has nothing on it. We'll do a little cocktail. Oh. There. <laughs> These stickers are fantastic. Look at that. That is so cute. All right, bits and pieces, bits and pieces. Little cat. Oh, there's nothing on that one. Lord, Lord. Oh, wait, I have these little bun buns. These little candy bunnies that are really adorable. Candy bunnies that are metallic. If you watch my Four Bears uh, April sticker 
unboxing, Happy Mail opening, then you've seen those. Like I said before, I love fussy cutting stuff. So like these images, I mean, I just go through and they're really cool images. So I'm like, you know what? I'm cutting these out and someday I'll put them somewhere. So I went through my stash and a lot of them ended up in here. A little cutesy journaling tag, scrapbooking. Do, 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 do. more little bits and pieces that was just like the perfect size for the little journaling stamp thing do, 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 do. stickers stickers so yeah it leaves lots of room for yeah another recipient to do to personalize it make it their very own this one sweet home Some pieces. I love these doilies. I have bought a couple packs of them. One's like blue green and the other one's uh pink and orange. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> puffins. I love puffins and I love rug hooking, so that's rug hook puffins. I don't know why I didn't put that in mine. Bits and pieces. Sheet music. Oh, there's one that's needing. This koala. He's uh, kind of sporty. <laughs> and it's a good way to use up like stickers and things that maybe I wouldn't normally use. Um, yeah, like those aren't really my thing. I don't, yeah, I don't party and you know. We'll put some high top sneakers. Rub ons and stamps. Stickers. Family. More stickers. Label. Cutesy cute things. Well, I think that one needs something else besides the little rub on. I think we'll put another little dude. Little outfit of the day animal. There. Oh, yeah, that, that I put on upside down, so I may cover it. Yep. Because I'm a winner. All right, I think we need another little sloth. Put the little scooter sloth here. He goes well with the little turtle sticker. Snowflake, it's all like iridescent. Some stamps, vintage button stickers, and isn't that lovely? A set of stamps I bought forever ago. So yeah, that is my little scrap drawer, scrappy scrap junk journals yeah and they're super like if you want to use up some of your scraps like I hate having bigger scraps in my in my scrap bin I like to be able to use them so yeah things to make like the larger pages or the like I mean the, even the covers for this were scraps like yeah so I definitely recommend uh yeah making some and like I said just uh I mean you can enjoy them yourself you just put your little images whatever you want in there just random things that you know you think are neat or cute or whatever just collage them right in and yeah it's just for you to have and enjoy all right well uh take care and until next time yeah this is jen Bye bye <laughs>